calling face to face the AIDS service organization that placed me in this hotel to let them know that the manager is kicking me out for crying in the parking lot when one of the other residents named Gage started yelling at me through the window. The events that have been unfolding are so surrealistic. I was in a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant, when I asked them for a chicken burrito. I was given a burrito with beef. When I tried to return it for my money back, the woman became, became hysterical and irrational and told me never to come back and kept my money and did not replace my food. I just got the exact same reaction. I was having a, a moment of, of, of sorrow. And I, my, I just lost my cat. My cat is dead. So I began to cry. The world is filled with animosity and my sadness brought tears to my eyes. As I was crying, this man named Gage yelled out the window that he could hear me from up in his room. Then the manager immediately came to the hotel parking lot, which was empty. No cars, nobody to disturb and said that I had to go because I was being a disturbance they were going to kick me out today. I am now calling the aid service organization that put me here to let them know what just happened. Stephen, hi. I'm part of the housing um, program that has been putting uh, HIV positive men in, in uh, people in the in the um, hotels, and and I need to speak to someone. It's an emergency. Um, it's I, I've run into a situation that's very dangerous, and I need to speak to someone right away. Thank you. Tatum Watson, thank you for taking my voicemail. This is Todd Rigo. I'm in room 205 at the Quality Inn, and I just had a, 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 an emotional breakdown that has caused me to be very panicked. The emotional breakdown was due to my cat being gone, and I was crying in mourning outside on the bench in the smoking area. One of the other participants in this program, his name is Gage, he opened up his window and he yelled out, I can hear you up from here, you better be quiet. And I said, I'm sad. This, I'm having a problem. Could you leave me alone? I'd like some privacy, please. No. And he started yelling. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, the manager came up and started saying the same thing. I'm going to call the housing program and have you kicked out today. I'm calling. And, I, and I, I put my cigarette out. I put my cell phone down. And I said, I surrender. Call the police for being sad. Put me in jail for being sad. I'm, I, I, and I panicked. Now I'm in a panic situation. My, my, my heart is racing. I may even have a stroke at this point because I'm so scared of my, my own safety that people are turning on me for no good reason. Please, please, please call me back. I need help. <laughs> 